I'm not a psychiatrist or I'm not a psychologist. I'm not even a mental health expert. But let me tell you what I am. Uh, I'm a combat veteran. I'm an old carpenter that once a very long time ago, I uh, was a door gunner on a helicopter. And I'm also a man that's, that's been alone with his thoughts many times. This is my story. This is my journey. Thank you for letting me share it with you. What brought Jim to our attention at first is we have a mentor component to our Veterans Treatment Court, and it's just people that have served in the military that want to work with other veterans. And, you know, everybody has their story, but how do you get somebody that's just coming back from combat or somebody that has been struggling with their issues all by themselves able to talk about things? So we thought um, after meeting Jim that his um, presentation would be very impactful to the mentors so they can start to get the mentee to open up and start talking about what is going on with them. Um, so Jim came to our, um, to Judge Gent is the judge that I work for and he came to Judge Gent's courtroom and we had probably about 35 people there and um, came in with this beautiful um, uh, PowerPoint presentation and just started talking about what are some of the um, uh, issues that you have to start paying attention to. And then he was able to relate it with all his personal stories and, um, and then a lot of statistics. He brought a lot of educational information into the um, program and it was just phenomenal. There was, nobody was speaking, nobody was you know, doing anything other than watching him, listening, and you, could, you had moments where your hair was standing up on your arms and the back of your neck. It was really powerful. My, my belief is, as a veteran, um, it's our core value to help other veterans, their situations, and, um, and seeing PTSD uh, presentation with Jim, and it, it made me cry. It made me cry because I was there. Um, I wish more young veterans would see this, um, especially the ones going to school, uh, to realize there's, there's, there's other veterans are going through this. Um, maybe you're not feeling it at the time, but it doesn't hurt to, to, to meet other veterans like uh, the Vietnam veterans. I get a lot of respect to those uh, gentlemen and ladies who serve, and uh, they're the ones who come for me, talk to me, and brought me where, made me understand who, who I was, um, more as, as a man, as a father, and, um, and purpose in life. Um, more young veterans need to seek that kind of support because uh, the veterans of, of the, v the Vietnam era, they went through this. They went through this, and uh, I respect uh, Jim and everybody else who, who's there to help veterans out. I'm a Marine veteran, uh, but more importantly, I'm a Gold Star father. I lost my son, who was also a Marine in Afghanistan. Education, period, I, I think is the, is the key to uniting this country again. And, and with Jim's presentation, uh, there's a lot of very powerful statements he makes that makes us look at... Uh, ourselves and, and, and what our veterans are going through and what they accomplished and to be proud of. I, I walked into presentation, knew what it was about, um, was going to become a coward, had cold feet, was just going to escape, make some excuse to, to get out of there. And, and um, as I sat through Jim's uh, presentation, it was the, the stuff I heard and had to face was the best decision I made in, in a long time. Probably the most important reason why this is, the presentation is so impactful is because the presenter is not speaking from a script, he's speaking from his heart. These are things that have been inside Jim for a long time that he wants to share with others. He wants that emotion of what he's experienced to come out in the things he says, the things he shows on the screen, and has rolled it into a presentation that's extremely impactful. And it carries the weight it carries because it's real.